Hey, what's up guys, Masterleaf here, and today I want to show you all something I've discovered since making over a move to NVIDIA recently. So for the past two years, I've been rocking an AMD GPU, and while in KaneGraph you'd think the experience would be the same between the two brands, there is a difference to me, specifically when enabling the Radeon image sharpening feature in the AMD GPU drivers. I was sorely missing this feature, as it was an adaptive algorithm and only sharpened areas which were soft and not with high contrast already. It just looked natural to me and it's by far the best sharpening tech I've seen that works with Command & Conquer games. Nvidia's equivalent which is present in their driver does not light a candle to this as it doesn't adapt to the content and just sharpens everything uniformly. The detail specifically to the terrain is immensely improved. But while in the thumbnail and video title I go over the terrain, everything is improved in such fashion. And today I'm going to show you how, as an owner of a non-AMD GPU, to activate it. So initially, when I tried to enable NVIDIA sharpening in the driver for Kane Draft, I wondered why nothing was happening in-game. I even maxed out the slider and overridden the anti-aliasing and found no difference at all. Well, as it turns out guys, just like AMD, the KaneDraft EXE does not work in the driver because it's the launcher of the real EXE which is not in the EXE format. That file is cnc3ep1.dat. Now firstly, to do anything to KaneDraft or cnc3 or any cnc game for that matter, we need to make the driver recognize the game. To do this, you have to create a new text document located in your KaneDraft installation folder, Retail EXE 1.02 data, it's in that folder guys. You'll want to rename that blank text document to cnc3ep1.exe. So the same as the DAT file, but we're just going to make it a blank text document and make the extension .exe and accept the prompts. Now in your NVIDIA driver, you can add that EXE and have a working profile for Kane's Wrath, enabling ultra low latency mode if you want as well, enhancing the anti-aliasing or enabling anisotropic filtering, etc. But what this also enables us to do is make an application called reshade work, which is where AMD's contrast enable sharpening can be found. To download that app, head over to the link in the description, download it and run it. Press click here to select the game and manage its reshade installation. Hit browse as Kane's Wrath will not show in the list and choose the EXE we've created in the Kane's Wrath Retail EXE 102 data folder. And from the effect packages to install, make sure to select Sweet FX by CJ as that will contain the effect we're looking for. Press OK and it will download and install the features. And that's it for the installation. Now we have to launch the game and configure the contest, contrast adaptive sharpening. So go ahead and launch the game. And when you're in the main menu, you'll notice the menu already appears for reshade. This means the UI is working, which is great. If it doesn't show here, then repeat the previous steps, steps again. Okay guys, so here we'll want to open a skirmish game so we can see the changes we make in real time. To configure reshade, hit the home key on your keyboard, that's HME or home. This will bring up the UI for us to make changes. Click skip tutorial if you have that and then scroll down to the effect called AMD Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening and click enable. You gotta click it to enable it guys. In the bottom, we can make adjustments to it. I have been playing around with the values and found this value to be good. 1.0 contrast adaptation and 1.15 sharpening intensity. Though you can play around with it to your heart's content. As you can see, the difference with it off and on is considerable. Everything from the terrain to the units to the icons look better now. For the best effect, I also recommend installing my 4K add-on as well. While that is not required, if you have the hardware for it, I highly, highly recommend you install that as it will give greatly enhance, as it will greatly enhance the texture quality of the units, decals, and structures in the game. 
Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to make it as sort of a follow-up to my 4K add-on video, as this, in my opinion, is the solution to the terrain details. And as I've said, I think it's by far the best technology there is for us to improve our beloved game. If you liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for further tips and guides. Anyways, this is Master Leaf, and I'll see you all later, guys.